Hey there, do you have an interest in building your brand, but you're a little low on dough? You have come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to build your brand on the cheap right now. Jay Patrick, I'm going to share with you five tips on how to build your brand on the cheap here in 2023. That first tip is acquiring your personal name as a domain name. And what I mean by that is yourname.com. It just gives the ability to people to be able to search you right away once you take your domain, your personal domain name and, and be able to build a website with that. And that kind of leads me into step number two, take that domain name and build you a personal website. There are great programs, or I should say software out there that is readily available for you use to kind of build your website. GoDaddy, HostGator, uh, website platform uh, builders like Wix, that you're able to take some good quality pictures and put up some content about you yourself and what do you do and how you best serve your audience. Now, many of you may be thinking, uh, uh, Drum, what if my personal name is taken? Um, there are several creative routes you can go about that. One of them, you can kind of do an abbreviation of your name so, uh, using your initials. So, for example, my name is Jerome Patrick. I can go maybe jpatrick.com. Um, that's just an, an example. Another thing that you can do as well is you can utilize the industry that you're seeking to break out in and attach it to your name. So for example, I'm a big fan of branding, designing, and marketing, but I'm probably biggest um, in reference to branding. So I would could put together a name like jpbranding.com. Um, this could be a great example for yourself in reference to if your name is taken, you can kind of either A, use an abbreviation, or B, use a subject uh, that you're seeking to break out in and create a domain name with that. And if building your website is a chore for you, there are great platforms out there like Fiverr and Upwork that will assist you um, that our freelancers are readily available to help you build your website. And that leads me into tip number three, which I believe is the biggest uh, tip for you, is to get up, get out, and create content. Because you could have the most greatest thing and the only people that know about your great thing is people within your circle. And find your space in finding, uh, creating that content. Rather it's writing, uh, video, which I'm doing here, or if it's audio, just practicing, uh, establishing a podcast. But I would also encourage you is to be able to do all forms of media because in order for you to grow as an individual, especially building a brand, you're going to need to be able to do, uh, do things that are uncomfortable until you get to a point of being comfortable in doing it in those spaces. So start in a space where you are comfortable right into it. You can kind of, if it's video, jump into video. If you're able to write, write. If, it's a, if you're able to speak on audio, practice it one first and then work to try to do some uncomfortable methods of media until you get comfortable in those spaces. One of the things that I practice in order to get comfortable with video is I went to my Facebook profile and every notification I get for a birthday um, in reference to somebody in my, you know, my friend base, I took the time to create a personal video to celebrate that birthday. That's over, I did over a thousand videos just to get comfortable with doing some form of video. So. Get in the space where, once again, like I said, where you practice in an area that you're comfortable and then try to get into a space where you try to create different forms of content in spaces that you're uncomfortable so you can be able to provide a wide array of content in your voice on, on mediums that people that you seek to uh, serve. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about tip number four. Now, tip number four um, I feel like this platform it has become my Swiss army knife in reference to building content and be able to put it online. And that is Canva. 
man, Canva, you can do some great things, but you know, creating pictures or creating slides, even creating video, it's just a Swiss army knife in reference to building things on a cheap. It is just rally affordable. You can just get right into it uh, yourself or a friend and have, uh, create content for your Instagram, TikTok, whatever space you're seeking to get in. And that is my tip number four. And here is tip number five and what I feel is the most important tip, and that is be a student in your space. Well, a lot of professional people call it being a autodidact. I hope I pronounced that right. And what I mean by that is be continuously educating yourself in the space, rather through books, practice and methods, connecting with professionals via webinars, or other professional events and be in the space of intentionally learning your space so you're up to speed on the trends or the necessary practices so you can be the best you can be in order to best serve your customers. And when you connect, and we'll give you another little tip. When you do decide to connect with professionals in your space, don't be creepy, introduce yourself Show that you, or I should say, share how you feel um, about their work and talk about how you can be a contributor to what they do. Now, what I'd love to talk to you guys next about is how you can leverage your brand. And I'm going to share that in the upcoming videos. Look forward to talking to you more. Look forward to providing you more content to help you build either your personal brand or your corporate brand. This is Jay Patrick speaking. Let's connect on the next video.